Now, most of us are okay with our digital image being taken, but what about the digital surveillance that is prolific everywhere now? It was recently released that terrorists may have used Google Earth to look for potential locations. It has some countries crying out that the service may actually now be a national threat. Others are saying, with the increased amount of video surveillance, that our civil liberties are actually being quashed. Just take a look at Britain, now with more than 4 million video surveillance cameras. A London filmmaker took it a step further by creating a movie called Faceless. She acted out scenes in front of more than 200 closed-circuit cameras and then used the public access laws to get hold of the footage. She then pieced together the movie. We are now going to see surveillance occur in many other areas. Take London Bobbies, for example. They've now gone to the extreme of installing video cameras right into their helmets. The question, though, always remains. With the continuing growth of surveillance, who will be watching The Watchmen? Closed circuit is good to a certain degree, but when there's too many, it starts to become an evasion of privacy. It will stop crime. I don't think more cameras are necessarily the answer, but you sure need some. It's almost like it's Big Brother. I'm still going to pick my nose if I'm going to pick my <laughs> nose. Camera or not. On August 31st, 1897, Thomas Edison, having already invented the incandescent light bulb and the phonograph, obtained a patent for a motion picture camera. Edison was determined, as he put it, to do for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear. If only he could have invented a machine to make better movies. Hey Scorsese, got a bunch of movie footage you don't know what to do with? Well, affordable online editing software can solve all your problems. Programs like Jump Cut and iSpot let you upload video, photos, and you can even import from Flickr and Facebook. You then edit them using a flash interface. It lets you add titles, effects, transitions, and even music. Then you publish your masterpiece and let others remix it. Programs like Movie Masher, Cuts, and Movie Mix also let you import video from MySpace and YouTube and create your own edits. So whatever your style or lack of taste, there's an online video program to suit your vision. <laughs>